This video is brought to you by Skillshare. Today we're going to talk about 34 of the best plugins that you can use with Honor Desk Maya to help you do things that can be done using this software or to become more productive. Number 34, KTools. KTools is a Boolean toolkit and a collection of scripts intended to improve the current Boolean's workflow in Autodesk Maya. The toolset will allow you to more easily and directly in the viewport manipulate objects after you make the Boolean operation and move, rotate, scale and edit on the component level and even use modeling tools like bevel, multi-cut, extrude and so on, while at the same time it's still keeping Boolean operations active. Number 33, Radeon Pro Render. ProRender is a powerful physically based render engine. It can simultaneously use and balance the capabilities of multiple CPUs and GPUs on the same system at the same time. It is a free rendering plugin that comes with a library of materials that you can use for free within Maya. Number 32, Pulldown 8. Pulldown 8 is a Dynamics plugin intended for destruction effects as well as massive rigid body simulations. By using its technology, digital artists are able to shadow objects in different styles and simulate easily the fracture of 3D models. It allows for computing thousands of objects in dynamics in a stable and realistic way. The technology of Fracture Inside Pulldown 8 is great. It allows fracturing any kind of brittle material like stone, glass, stucco, and so on. Number 31, Real Flow. RealFlow can be used for liquids and many other things such as granular, viscoelastic, rigid, and elastic materials in addition to soft bodies and meshes. It was used by a lot of studios to work on some of the most popular feature films such as 300, X-Men, and Lord of the Rings just to name a few. It was also used for video game cinematics such as Rise of the Son of Rome, Uncharted, and God of War just to name a few. Number 30, Monet. Monet will support and speed up your hard service workflow with the automation of simple and repetitive tasks like primitive creation, duplicate merge, and so on. This modeling tool for Maya is going to save you a lot of time with different ways it can shortcut the modeling process. For instance, you can use it to add small and repetitive pieces such as screws, nuts, bolts, or any other type of geometry that needs to be inserted with the base mesh you originally created. Number 29, iRay. NVIDIA's iRay is a Maya plugin for rendering accelerated on the GPU featuring photorealistic and physical precision. When combined with the parallel processing power of NVIDIA graphics cards, it reaches speed levels that reduces the iteration time during the creative process. iRay is good when it comes to each of use during the configuration of the scenes with the results of greater photorealism and higher interactivity. iRay offers three rendering modes which support a wide range of design needs and workflows. Number 28, Qualoth. Qualoth is a Maya plugin that takes polygon meshes as input, then those input meshes are triangulated internally for dynamic cloth simulation. Qualoth is being widely used for the production of 3D feature animations and visual effects for digital doubles in movies. Some famous feature animations from the world's top class animation studios are using Qualoth for the simulation of cloth. Though it is not aimed for real-time applications like games, it has been used for numerous game cinematics. Number 27, Maya Structures. This is a Maya plugin for creating procedural buildings and generating cities in a very short period of time using Maya. You can use ready-to-use building blocks or any other custom model that you prefer for the project at hand. Structures is a Python script for generating procedural structures, buildings, machines, and many other things in Maya. It works in Maya 2013 and up, and it is not compatible with Maya LT. Number 26, Overlapper. Overlapper is a tool that can make overlapping action type of animation easier by eliminating all the work that animators need to make overlapping actions believable. Overlapper doesn't use dynamics, which means that the script is more stable for a wide range of use cases. This animation tool can also automatically find controls in a hierarchy, so it works equally well with simple and complex rigging systems in Maya. Number 25, Maxwell Render. Maxwell Render is an unbiased 3D render engine developed by Next Limit Technologies. This render engine comes as a standalone application, also as a plugin for Maya. It is used in the film, animation, and VFX industry, as well as architectural and product design visualization. Number 24, Quad Remesher. 
Quad Remesher is an automatic remeshing tool available for Maya. From what we can see, Quad Remesher is very good at changing the topology of any type of mesh, whether it be simple 3D text or complex model that has millions of polygons. The tool processes the source meshes composed of triangles or a mixture of polygons types and convert them to evenly spaced quads suitable for animation. Number 23. Physics Tools Maya's physics tools allow you to spend more time on creating appealing poses that better show human emotions and movements rather than technical issues that animators usually spend most of their time on, like how to achieve great physics, overlapping actions, switch control space, manage time, visualize the geometry, or create animation layers. Before we continue with the rest of Maya plugins, I recommend you try Skillshare. Skillshare is a learning platform that has thousands of classes on a variety of different topics. For example, you can find a lot of classes that can help you learn Maya, 3ds Max, Blender, Cinema 4D, or ZBrush. If you are a Maya user, I recommend this class in which you will learn about the basics of modeling, adding materials, simulations, and so on. Also, there is a series of Maya classes that will teach you different animation skills that you will need to be an animator. These classes are easy to follow, very clear, and they deliver a lot of information in a short period of time. And the good thing is, it is very affordable because you just need to pay less than $10 per month to get access to all these fantastic classes. The first 1000 people to click the link in the description will get a free trial of Skillshare Premium Membership. Links in the description. Number 22, Krakatoa. Krakatoa was specifically designed to process and render millions or even billions of particles and adapt its memory footprint to the requested rendering features. It is a unique plugin because it deals with a huge number of particles using a single computer, which is great for artists or studios that can't afford expensive hardware. Number 21, Advanced Skeleton. Advanced Skeleton can create rigs with unlimited body configurations, not only creatures, but you can also rig props, vehicles, and just about anything else. You can at any time go for Advanced Skeleton, back to the Fit Skeleton, make changes, and rebuild. It was used in feature animated films such as Happy Feet and The Legend of the Guardians. Generally speaking, they developed Advanced Skeleton to make character creation a much more efficient process. Number 20, My Army. My Army is a human logic engine plugin that works in Maya for crowd simulation, AI animation, creature physics simulation, and rendering. Using this plugin, you can create all types of simulations like crowds, animals, objects, you name it. Your imagination is the limit. My Army has been utilized by many projects globally, from films to animations to commercials to Olympic game simulations. Number 19, Particle Flocker. Particle Flocker is a nice particle simulation plugin that can be really effective for some of the most common behavior of flocks, especially in nature like moth, fish, or birds. During the simulation, particles will attempt to avoid colliding with each other by keeping a set of distance away from neighboring particles. Particles will attempt also to get as near as possible to the center of the flock. This ensures flocks stay together and act as a cohesive group. These particles also attempt to match the velocities of their neighboring particles by continually comparing their own velocity with that of their neighbors. Generally speaking, this plugin gives the ability to control how a flock of particles moves and behaves. Number 18, Twin Machine. Twin Machine was developed and used extensively throughout the animation and visual effects industry for many years. Then the development was taken over by other developers in 2018. This tool allows you to break down shots on steps curves and gradually break them down and do the in-betweens without losing control of the curves. Number 17, Massive. Massive is a great plugin if you want to create crowds, whether it be small or large for your projects. Not only as a visual effects artist, but also if you work in engineering or architecture. There are a few options out there for generating crowds, but Massive for Maya is one of the best known and it is now fully integrated into Maya. To create crowd simulations, you just need to create a terrain, place some agents and run the simulations to see the action. Also, there is the possibility of using lanes to guide the movement of crowds during the simulation. Number 16, Speedcut. Speedcut is a modeling toolset for speeding up Boolean operations inside Maya. It is similar to the other modeling tools on this list because it allows you to create complex hard surface models like mechanical machines, robots, weapons, or any other complex, highly detailed hard surface geometry. 
Number 15, Golem Crowd. Golem gives you the power to quickly populate your scenes with smart and directable digital characters. This plugin is probably the best option for crowd simulations. It is good for avoiding repetitive animation tasks. Also, it helps generate more variety for more realistic shots. Golem crowd simulations were used to work on some of the most popular TV shows such as Game of Thrones, The Walking Dead, Falling Skies, War and Peace, and more. Also feature films such as Independent Day, Dracula Untold, and Hercules just to name a few. In addition to video games such as Halo Wars and Warhammer. Number 14, Fume Effects. Fume Effects is a powerful fluid dynamics plugin for Maya designed for simulations and rendering realistic fire, smoke, explosions, and other gaseous phenomena. It has the ability to capture the subtlety and complexity of fluid gas behavior. It is favored among visual effects artists, game developers, visualization professionals, and anybody else who wants to generate amazing effects. Fume effects has been used in visual effects for a long period of time, and it was used in some of the most popular films, such as Marvel movies, DC movies and others such as Ghost Rider, Star Trek, just to name a few. Number 13, MG Tools. MG Tools can save time and create more efficient workflow. This plugin has a number of features that aim to make things simpler and easier for Maya animators. I think that what these tools have to offer is interesting and useful because they help you to do things that are time consuming or hard to do manually as an animator. Number 12, Keyshot. To render Maya scenes using Keyshot, there is a plugin for Autodesk Maya that allows real-time 3D rendering in Keyshot with live linking model update. There are two ways to import your 3D model into Keyshot. First, direct import or through a plugin. You don't need a plugin to import your native 3D data. However, the plugin transfers data faster and delivers tighter integration between Keyshot and the 3D modeling software, making the workflow faster. Number 11, Plug It. Plugit is a script for Maya that helps you detail your hard surface models. In one click, you can add pre-built plugs to your mesh. You also have control of the scale, rotation, connection, and so on. It works both on flat and curved surfaces. I think that tools like Plugit are some of the best modeling tools, especially for hard surface artists who create complex robots, spaceships, weapons, and so on, because this type of work involves creating so many small pieces and details, and Plugit can be really good for that. Number 10, Octane Render. Octane is an unbiased rendering application with real-time capability. It was the first commercially available unbiased ray tracer that fully utilized the GPU, giving a significant speed advantage by allowing users to more easily modify scenes in real time. Octane Render was running exclusively on NVIDIA's Coda GPUs, restricting it to NVIDIA video cards. Now it is running on Vulkan, and therefore it is able to run on both AMD and NVIDIA video cards. Number 9. Ornatrix Ornatrix is an artist-friendly grooming tool for non-destructive hair pipeline. This tool is used by a lot of studios to work on a lot of popular shows and video games. It can be used to grow any type of objects besides hair or fur. It allows you to quickly change parameters, such as trend twisting, and you can even turn the mesh back into guides if you like to. Number 8. Redshift Redshift rendering technologies was founded in early 2012, and in 2019, Maxon CEO announced the acquisition of Redshift rendering technologies. This render engine has the capability of auto-call rendering, which means that if the CPU runs out of memory, if it has too many polygons or textures in the scene, it will use the system memory instead. Number 7. Ziva VFX This tool specializes in advanced muscle simulations, enabling you to have dynamic soft tissue physics in your character renders. With Ziva, you can avoid spending all the time sculpting every detail when it comes to your character muscles to try to make them appear as realistic as possible from scene to scene. The animators still do the animation work, but the muscle movement underneath the skin happens automatically, which makes everything way better. Number 6. ADN Modeler ADN Modeler Tools is a smart modeling script for Maya that comes with multiple useful tools, ranging from simple scripts to highly complex tools that can completely redefine your workflow. It can help you speed up the modeling process in Maya by saving you time when it comes to the modeling tasks that are less fun and more tedious. Number 5. V-Ray V-Ray is one of the best plugins for Maya and one that has been around for the longest period of time. 
it has a powerful CPU and GPU rendering built for the demands of high-end production. Kaios Group also launched V-Ray Next for Maya, and it allows artists to utilize the viewport and GPU much more, and you can isolate specific areas in the scene with ease. Number 4. Phoenix FD Phoenix FD is an all-in-one solution for fluid dynamics. It can simulate fire, smoke, liquids, ocean waves, splashes, spray, and more. It was built for 3D artists who want to create dynamic effects using quick presets, fast setup, and intuitive controls. It is good for generating smoke, steam, and rendering particles such as bubbles, drops, points, or fog. Phoenix FD was created and currently developed by Kaios Group, the developers of V-Ray, one of the most popular render engines. Number 3. Pixar RenderMan RenderMan is a proprietary photorealistic 3D renderer produced by Pixar Animation Studios. They use RenderMan to render their in-house 3D animated movie productions, and it is also available as a commercial product license for third parties. And for those who don't want to use it for commercial purposes, it is completely free. Number 2. Animbot Animbot is a set of tools from Maya aimed at speeding up the workflow. It has a set of tools that can make the animator's daily tasks feel like a creative work rather than doing a chore. It has so many tools that complement Maya's animation workflow because with the amount of work animators have to do, there has to be something that can make things easier and faster. And probably Animbot is the best option because it has so many tools that can make the process easier. Number 1. Hard Mesh Hard Mesh is ideal for hard surface modeling. Its primary application is to create complex objects, starting from simple shapes, but it can also be used to add details for any hard surface model. With hard mesh, you can blend together any kind of mesh without having to worry about topology, and by concentrating on the creative process of modeling, everything remains editable until you are satisfied with the shape. I hope you found this video useful and informative. If you have something to add, you can leave it in the comment section below. Also, you can check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much and I'll see you in the next one.